with, to just allow ourselves to be present in our bodies and the space that we're in and just to really be in each moment. So that's kind of what our yoga practice does for us. So over the next 30 to 40 minutes or so, I invite you to just be on your mat. Be present with your breath. Let go of worry. Let go of the things that you cannot control. Take appreciation and have gratitude for the things that you are in control of in your life. Moving your body. Breathing. How you treat yourself. How you treat others. Self-care. Maybe choosing a particular area to focus on today as you practice. And if you haven't already, deepening your breath further. Sending the breath low into the belly. Inhaling and exhaling at a pace that feels comfortable and available to you. And as we practice today, remember that this is your practice. This is your time for yourself to allow your body to move, to express yourself in different poses, just to work out any areas that you're experiencing discomfort or stiffness. So as you continue to breathe deeply, go ahead and set an intention for your practice today. Bring that into your heart, breathe deeply into it for a couple more breath cycles. start to make your way up to tabletop. Move your hands a little bit more forward. Bring the knees underneath the shoulders and inhale to cow. If you want, drop the front of the hips down. Cobra. Pause and breathe, opening the front body. Relaxing your face. Exhale, press into cat. Rounding your spine. Start to shift your hips from side to side if that feels good to you. Pausing and breathing. Inhale, cow or cobra. Pause and breathe. Notice the length across the front body. Notice the stretch in the forearms, the front of the hips. Exhale, press away, come into cat. Shift your hips, begin to open the sides of the trunk. Feeling the stretch maybe even into the outer hips and the glutes. One more time, inhale, cow, cobra. Whatever feels good for your body. Lengthen and breathe, shine your heart forward. Exhale, tuck and brown, cat. Shift your hips. Come back to tabletop, hands underneath the shoulders. Go ahead and take a walk with your hands off the right side of your mat. So you're gonna walk your hands all the way off your mat so your fingertips point to the right wall. Take a breath in. As you exhale, drop your hips away from your hands. Big giant C stretch. Soften the head and neck. Feel that stretch into the left side body. Good. Bring your hips back to neutral. Walk your hands back around, crossing over your mat. 
and then bringing them all the way over to the left side. Fingertips point to the left side of your space. Take a breath in. As you exhale, drop your hips away from your hands, elongating the right side of the trunk, pausing and breathing. Good, slowly releasing from that stretch, walking your hands back around to the mat, pausing in tabletop. When you feel ready, step the right foot forward, low lunge. Go ahead and walk your hands up your front thigh, tuck the tailbone under, press the front of your left hip forward, and then inhale, reach your right arm back. Nice gentle twist from low lunge. Pausing and breathing, shoulders are over the hips, optional quad stretch if you want. That works out for your body today. Bending the back knee, catching the instep of the foot. If that's not available to you, don't worry about it. Good, release the foot, hold on to that rotation in the spine, extend through the right fingertips. Good, on an exhale, release back, take both hands, set them on the instep of the right foot, lizard pose or lizard lunge. So walk your right foot out a little bit. Allow the front of the left hip to drop down and just be in your body here. So if it feels good to walk down to your forearms, you can do that. If it feels good to shift your weight front to back, you can do that. So just play with it a little bit. Find a little bit of opening into the hips, the inner thighs. Pause and breathe. Do what feels good for you. You're always welcome to come into any resting pose of your choice child's pose or any other throughout the practice today. Good, walk that foot back in so it's underneath your knee. Set both hands on either side of the foot, step it back to tabletop. Inhale, cow or cobra pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, left foot steps through, low lunge. Walk or sweep your arms up that front thigh, tuck the tailbone under. Pause and breathe, feel a little length into that right hip flexor and quad. Inhale the left arm back, follow it with your gaze. Nice gentle twist, twisting from the lowest part of your belly. Shoulders stack up over the pelvis here, pausing and breathing. Optional quad stretch. No pressure, only if it feels good for you. Good, if you chose to grab the foot, release and extend those left fingertips back. Exhale, hands to the instep. Lizard pose, lizard lunge. Let that left knee drop out to the side. Hands come to the instep, front of the right hip drops down. Do what feels good here. Maybe shifting towards that front foot and then back towards your back leg might feel good, pausing and breathing. Good, slowly bring that left foot back in. Take a hand on either side of the foot. Come back to tabletop. Come into plank onto the knees. Lower all the way down to your tummy. Inhale, come up to baby cobra. Take a pause and breathe. Nice and light on the hands. Heart is forward. Tops of the feet are flat. Open the chest a little bit further. Interlace your hands on top of the sacrum. Draw down and back, lift your chest up, looking forward, opening your heart, pausing and breathing, feeling the activation across the front body, lengthening the back body, activating. Slowly release the hands, press back to downward facing dog, pause and breathe. Take a couple of cleansing breaths here. Inhaling deeply through the nose. Big, heavy exhale through the mouth. Add a little bit of 
movement into your down dog. So pedaling out the feet, alternating, dropping knees into center. Doing whatever feels right for you today. Bringing your head and neck in line with the spine. Bring your feet so they're about hips distance apart. Inhale, bring the shoulders over your hands and come into plank. Good, rotate over to your left hand for side arm balance. Stagger or stack your feet or set your bottom knee down. So if you're still getting warm through your trunk, you want a little bit more support, set that bottom knee down. Pausing and breathing, exhale to plank. Perfectly fine to set your knees down. Regardless, press into the mid back. Flatten out the space between your shoulder blades. Belly draws to the spine. Exhale, come over to the right side. Think about turning your elbow crease on that bottom arm towards your thumb. So you're activating around the shoulder blade. Hips are high up to the ceiling. Pausing and breathing, side body strength. Exhale to plank. Press into the mid part of your back, belly in. Take a breath, exhale, down dog. Good, looking forward, take a walk up to the top of your mat. Take a forward fold, generously folding. Bending your knees as much as you need to to bring your chest down to your thighs. Let the back of your neck relax and soften. Find some length into the hamstrings, the back body. And then dangle your fingertips for the floor. Just moving in that direction. On an in-breath, come to halfway lift, flat back. Belly is in, shoulder blades draw towards the spine. Exhale, round and fold. Good, press through your feet, take your time, come all the way up to stand. Reach your arms up over your head. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Good, pause here, hands at heart center. Blink your eyes closed, deepen your breath, reconnect with your intention. Notice how you feel as you stand. Notice the ground beneath both your feet. Allow yourself to be here. If your mind starts to wander, gently bring it back to your practice today. We'll move through a few half sun salutations. If you feel comfortable, I invite you to do these with your eyes closed. If you're not comfortable, you can open up your eyes. So on an inhale, sweep your arms up, take a little back bend. As you exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Round your knees, round your back, bend your knees. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press through your feet, sweep all the way up, look up. Exhale, hands through heart, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, round and fold. Inhale, press through your feet, sweep all the way up, look up. Exhale, forward fold, establishing cadence, one breath per movement. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good lunge salutation. Next, inhale, sweep up. Little back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Right foot steps back. High lunge. Walk or sweep your arms up. If you're not comfortable in high lunge, just set your back knee down. So back knee is straight, pause and breathe. Exhale, hands to the mat, plank. Breathe in. Exhale, set your knees down, come to your tummy. 
Inhale, baby cobra, lift your heart. Exhale, down dog. Pause and breathe. Breathe in. Exhale, right foot steps forward, high lunge, second side. Pause and breathe. Exhale, hands to the mat, step forward, halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press all the way up. Look up. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, right foot steps back. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat, plank pose. Good. From your toes to your knees, come all the way down to your tummy. Inhale, any back bend. Baby cobra, cobra, locust, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Exhale, right foot steps forward, high lunge. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to the mat, step forward. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, sun salutation A. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Breathe in. From your toes to your knees, halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, any back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Cleansing breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Look forward, walk, step, or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Look up, little back bend. Exhale, forward fold, right to the next one. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step or hop back to plank. Breathe in. From your toes to your knees, lower halfway, chaturanga. Hug those elbows into your sides. Inhale, baby cobra. Cobra, upward facing dog, open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Cleansing breath in down dog. Good, inhale, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward, come up to Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Hips are square to the front. Good. Exhale, airplane arms. Draw the trunk over the front thigh. Good. Breathe. Nice straight line from the crown of your head all the way down to that back foot. Either pausing here, belly in, or finding humble warrior by interlacing your hands on top of the sacrum, exhaling your trunk towards that inner thigh and allowing the arms to float up. Do what works for your body. Good, pausing and breathing. Good, inhale, draw the trunk up. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Hands, or arms are at shoulder height. Good, breathe in. Exhale, reverse triangle. Open the right side of the trunk and breathe. Exhale, hands to the mat, plank pose. From your toes to your knees, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, any back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ground through your hands and feet. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it forward, warrior one, rise. Hips to the front. Soft tops of the shoulders. Exhale, airplane arms. 
Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good option here. Interlace the hands on top of the sacrum. Take a breath. Exhale, humble warrior. Drop your trunk to your front thigh. This is a deep forward bend, so if it doesn't work out for you, just keep that trunk over the front thigh. Good. Slowly start to bring the trunk back up. Open up, warrior two. Fear of Adrasana two. Take a gaze down at your front foot. Make sure that knee is tracking over the ankle here. Exhale, reverse triangle. Straightening the front knee. Nice and light on your back fingertips. Pausing and breathing. Exhale, hands to the mat, plank pose. Vinyasa or downward facing dog, you pick. If you need a breather in child's pose, please take one. Pausing and breathing in down dog, tabletop or child's pose. Connect with your intention that you set for your practice today. Just take a few breaths. Let yourself be in your body. Notice how you're feeling. Good. If you came down to child's pose or puppy pose, go ahead and press back up to downward facing dog. And then look forward. Walk, step, or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Go ahead and bring your hands to your hips. Take about a two foot step back with your left foot, still keeping your hips square to the front. We're gonna make our way into pyramid pose for a little bit of hamstring length today. So shoulders stack over the pelvis. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, start to hinge at your hip crease. Micro bend in both knees. Fold over that front leg as far as you feel comfortable and then soften the back of the neck. If you do have a block or a chair handy, you could use that for a prop as well. Rest one or both of your hands on it. On an inhale, come up to a flat back. Bring your arms out to a T. Nice and active through the back body here. Good. As you exhale, full pyramid pose. Inhale, flat back. Raise up, T. The arms, shoulder blades together, belly in. Exhale, fold, pyramid, soften the back of the neck. Good, pausing and breathing. And then set your left hand on either your shin or the floor, whatever feels good for you. Inhale the right arm up to twist. Revolve triangle. So twisting to the right, looking that direction with your eyes, letting the rest of your spine follow. Pausing and breathing. And then exhale, round and fold, pyramid. Good, take a nice deep breath in. And then exhale, step forward, forward fold, top of your mat. Press through your feet, take your time, come all the way up to stand, little back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, hands come to the hips again. This time we'll do the same thing on side two. So belly in, long spine. Take about a two foot step back with your right foot. Toes are just turned out to the side. Take a breath in as you exhale, leading with your heart. Find pyramid, second side. Softening the back of the neck. Pausing and breathing. Good. On an inhale, come up halfway lift. Arms out to the sides. Shoulder blades together. Notice your midsection. Exhale, pyramid pose. Fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
exhale, fold. This time, inhale, float your left arm up. Keep your right hand on that left shin. Revolve, triangle, opening to the left wall. Feel free to move that, that right hand around, along, around on your leg as you need to. So if you need to come up a little bit higher for that rotation, feel free to do that. Exhale, pyramid pose. Good, step forward, forward fold, top of the mat. Good, then sink your hips low, bring the hands to heart center and come into chair pose. Pause and breathe. And exhale to mountain pose. Good, pausing and breathing here. Shift your weight onto your right foot. Come into your variation of tree pose. Kickstand or hand to the, or foot to the calf or the inner thigh. Do whatever feels good with your arms. And then turn that left knee to face forward. Bring the knee under your hip. Take your left hand, catch that in step for standing half bow. If you'd like, dancer pose. Just a little single leg balance here today. Finding that focal point, doing what feels good for your body. Perfectly fine to keep the knee under the hip. And then release the left foot, come to mountain pose. Palms forward. Broaden across the collarbones. Nice and active through your hips. Take tree second side. Any variation. Nice and active through that standing leg. Pausing and breathing. Using that dristy, the focal point. On an inhale, bring your knee to face forward. As you exhale, start to drop that knee in line with your hip. Take your right hand, catch the instep for standing half bow. Perhaps exploring more of a back bend for dancer pose. Knee in line with the hip, pausing and breathing, opening the heart. Relaxing the face. And exhale, release everything, mountain pose. Circle out those feet a little bit, come to the top of the mat, palms forward. As you breathe in, deep breath, little back bend. Exhale, release the arms. Good, one more time, nice deep breath in. Exhale, release the arms. Good, this time, nice deep breath in. Right hand grabs onto the left wrist. Take a gentle side stretch to the right. Pausing and breathing, elongating the left side of the trunk. Inhale, lift both palms up to the sky. Switch your grip. Exhale, side stretch to the left. Inhale, both palms up to the sky. Exhale, release the hands all the way down, forward fold, lead with your heart. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, take a seat on your mat. We're going to start to make our way onto our back. So soles of the feet are going to be on the mat. Float the palms up, engage the belly. Perhaps pausing here, taking one round of boat pose if that feels good for you. Any variation. One leg can lift, both legs can lift. You can straighten the knees, float the arms. Let's try to hold for three more breaths here, continuing to lift the heart up. Good. Set your feet down on the mat. Lower down slowly. Engage your core. Take your time. Come all the way down to your back and take a full body stretch. Reach the legs out. Arms reach overhead. Get as long as you can on your mat. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Big heavy sigh through the mouth. 
Good, one more time, inhaling through the nose. Big, heavy sigh through the mouth. And bring your arms up to goal post arms. Palms facing the ceiling, stepping the feet in so your feet are about hips distance apart. And just start to gently rock the knees from side to side. Doesn't have to be super far or all the way to the floor. Just kind of loosening up through the back. Maybe beginning to turn your head opposite your knees. And then if it feels good, take a pause on either side for three to five breaths. Releasing through the low back. Lengthening the trunk. And maybe allowing your eyes to close if that feels good for you. Notice your breathing. Notice the quality of your breath. And notice how you feel. slowly bringing the knees back up to the center. As you exhale, draw them both into the chest and just start to rock gently from side to side, massaging out the low back. And then maybe make some circles with your low back on the mat, one direction and then the opposite direction. And then reach down for the instep of the feet. Press your feet into your hands and come into happy baby or wide leg straddle. Maybe alternating, bending and straightening one knee. Getting into those hamstrings a little bit more if that feels good for you. And then slowly drawing the knees back into the chest, bringing your forehead up to your kneecaps, giving your yourself a nice tight hug, and then slowly releasing into your final relaxation, Shavasana corpse pose. Tucking the shoulder blades underneath you or bringing one or both of your hands to your belly. Breathe deeply in through the nose. Big, heavy sigh through the mouth. Repeating these phrases to yourself. I am happy. I am safe. I am strong. I am enough. Allow the eyes to close or the gaze to lower. Let the ground support you here in Shavasana, your final relaxation. Put a pause on the mind chatter, the negative talk, any worries or stress that you're feeling. Enjoy a few moments of peace and stillness. 